today I would like to show you this really nice frame of mostly archaic points, arrowheads, a couple of paleo or transitional paleo. This one I've owned for more than 50, 55 years. It's kind of common. In fact, I dropped it as a little kid and broke the tip off, glued it back on myself. It's nothing out of the ordinary, but the patina on this one is just fabulous. You just have to see it. Uh, if you want a study point as to what patina should look like, this looks like it might be a Burlington shirt to me. Uh, this is just a, a really neat uh, point to have in a collection. This one is a petrified wood point, archaic. This one is from a White Apple Village in Mississippi. It was found by Dr. Alan Heflin on November 16, 1946. This is a nice translucent petrified wood. Kind of a common point, but still really nice. This one is also petrified wood. A little translucent on the edges. This one is a beautiful hell gap. Paleo or transitional paleo. This one's from Colorado and it's just some of the nicest petrified wood that I have seen and I specialize in petrified wood. That's my favorite material. For those of you who are paleo collectors and want to add a really nice hell gap to your collection, most um, hell gaps that you see are made out of a very common chert material. It isn't often that you find a hell gap made out of petrified wood, more or less out of petrified wood like this. Um, this is just an this is agatized petrified wood, and I will tell you that this is just some of the prettiest petrified wood that you will ever see. In the uh, where it's agatized with uh, the white uh, in, in these areas. It's just a really pretty point. It's also uh, glossy as well. I, I believe that the base of this has been chipped off in antiquity. Uh, to me, it just doesn't detract at all because it's just such great material that uh, it just doesn't make any difference to me. This one is a uh, Pelican Lake from Wyoming. This is uh, made out of moss agate. And again, it's a real pretty point. Pelican Lakes are very popular collector's items, and, and I have to say that's one of the nicest that I've seen. This is a Samantha petrified wood from the uh, from the Midwest. This one is a uh, a corner notch, um, a uh, nicely translucent one. This one is a, a dovetail, and this is a, a a beveled dovetail. It's got a certificate of authorization uh, of um, authenticity, uh, and it's rated a G10. But this is one of these uh, small, along with the next one, one of these small dovetails that no one really knows um, a lot about. Um, I'm sure that in the future there will be some more study done on these. But this one has a, a bevel on both sides that's as nice a beveling as I've ever seen. This is just a really pretty dovetail. And I know that a lot of people just specialize in dovetails. And they're perhaps my favorite point. This is the other... Uh, little dovetail that I have. It's nicely serrated 
uh, on both sides rather than, than beveled, made out of a chert opaque material. Just a neat little piece. This one is an Allen Point transitional paleo made out of um, a really nice moss agate. This one is a desert uh, point. Um, again, a beautiful translucent point. This one has a plow damage done along this side, um, which to me doesn't detract because it really points to its authenticity that this was uh, plowed up. Uh, it's got beautiful parallel uh, flaking on it, and uh, it's an opalescent uh, material, very thin, very nicely flaked. This is just a dandy. Uh, let me just go back to this Allen and show you this again. Look at the parallel flaking on this. This oblique flaking you don't see on uh, too many points that ever hit the open market like this. These are the first ones that are snapped up by uh, collectors, especially advanced collectors. This is what they really look for in, um, in, in a point is this oblique flaking, and you just don't see it very often. This one is a really nice uh, petrified, honey petrified wood. Um, nothing super out of the ordinary, but the material is particularly fine. Uh, this one I just love. It's again a one of the nicest beveled points that I've seen on both sides with some serrations on both sides, but it's made out of a really light um, chert material, and the way that it's uh, patinated is um, it's just some of the prettiest material that I have seen. Um, I've had this in one of all of these I've had in my collection since the early 90s, but this one is just so neat. I'd really hate to see this one go. This is just a, a real beauty. Uh, this one is um, agate material that um, has a Bill Jackson certificate of authenticity. Just a, a real nice, nicely flaked point that would uh, be a great addition to anyone's collection. And you can find all of these on my website, which I certainly invite you to visit and spend some time on. I think you'll really enjoy it. I certainly did enjoy showing these to you today. And I thank you very much for spending your time and, and watching uh, with me.